how and why they out they try to gather these kind of outputs and what they do like uh, what about the biasness from their training data that might sneak in and remember they are so heavy that third party apis might be the way go how knowing the limitation of other models can help us build better ones by checking out these limitations developers can dodge pitfalls and craft better variants plus this trayer trove of data helps us how newer models are doing in comparison to their predecessors and hey the insights from the limitations can be like a roadmap but assalamu alaikum everyone let's deep dive into another exciting topic of open source elements as we already discussed in details about different aspect of large language models like start from infrastructure to customization of large language models to building an AL, building a large language model from scratch to memory management and resource handling each and everything in detail so after all of these topics there is a need to discuss about the comparison of different large language models with their strengths weaknesses and limitations and how it will affect the whole generation of ai in details so what are you waiting for let's move forward before we get started, make sure you have the technical skills under your belt. Start from a strong understanding of programming languages and now your and now your way around handling and pre-processing data. We are going to talk uh, about creating software solutions that tackle resource intensive solutions, tasks, developing software that can handle massive data sets and user demands by designing software that play nice with different platforms and libraries. Also try to create user-friendly interfaces with that cater to a diverse range of users. We will even touch on enabling users to tweak software settings up according to their preferences. Ready? So let's move forward. All right, here is the agenda behind this whole architecture and whole lecture that we will discuss further with details. Okay, let's break this down. When organizations jump on the open source large language models bandwagon, they need to consider their hardware capabilities since these models require serious computational tools. It's also important to check how well a model scales up as data sets, as data sizes and demand increases. And before you pick a specific large language models, think about how well it integrates with your existing features like also, you have to consider about licensing terms. Don't forget to give them a thorough review. Transfer learning in natural language processing is also main consideration about here. That's like using what an already trained model knows to boost the performance of a new task. With so many large language models out there, accuracy is the name of the game. I mean to say that accuracy is also a main and core ingredient of large language models. Let's move on and learn more. Hold on to your heads, folks, because large language models come with their fair share of limitations. They are not exactly lightweight in terms of computation, which means processing text can take quite time. And, we, and while the cost have gone down, using these heavy duty machines for specific, uh, super specific tasks might not be very well its friendly. Also, these large language models can sometimes get a bit imaginative producing high quality uh, text that's a bit off in the effects of department. Here's the kicker that uh, they, they are like a black box with no clear window into how and why they, out, they try to gather these kind of outputs and what they do, like uh, what about the biasness from their training data that might sneak in and remember they are so heavy that third party APIs might be the way to solve this problem. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, now imagine an evolutionary tree, like tracing the ancestry of these elements. It shows how they have evolved over time, improved and become more sophisticated. You can even spot major updates regarding the architecture changes and all the fancy stuff that happened in between. This tree is like a highlight reel of different research terms, teams, contributions, and each and everything. It's a history lesson uh, on steroids, showing us how these models have improved in terms of accuracy, efficiency, and other language model skills. Speaking of improvements, let's talk about how knowing the limitation of other models can help us build better ones. By checking out these limitations, developers can dodge pitfalls and craft better variants. Plus, this trayer trove of data helps us how newer models are doing in comparison to their predecessors. And hey, 
the insights from the limitations can be like a roadmap by where we try to solve future software challenges. It's like learning from the past to make the future even better. All right, folks get ready for some acronyms. Here we will talk about the Falcon series of open source large language models, like start from the model size that is in billions to trillions, range from range varies on the basis of the model type by using almost 75% of the training module similar to the chat GPT pre-training and fine-tuning data sets. So that means the overall resource and instance utilization in this scenario will be quite expensive and non-budget friendly. Like it almost took 384 GPUs to train this whole series under that two months time period. Where there are limitations, there are some strengths as well. Like this series have 7 billion module as well that look that took limited resources and cost estimation, which suits perfectly under and anyone's budget. If you want to have some other details about this series link, the link is also attached in the heading. So you can open it and read about the further implementation details about this particular large language models from there. At last, we will discuss the comparison of this model with other similar size of large language models like GPT-4 took almost 24,000 word to process at a time while generating the response. But this model, like this Falcon series, took almost 1,500 maximum amount of words only. That means it will not be suitable for the long batch data sets and long batch responses, questions, each and everything with some language deficiency in it as well. Now moving towards MPT series, they are they have almost they also have almost billions of billions to trillions of parameters in their modules as mentioned in the chart diagram in the slide that is also trained under the 8K context length with the calculation of GPUs requirement like it was trained on almost 440-800 GPUs with 40 GB maximum memory usage that almost that took almost 9.5 days with an expensive cost evaluation. We also did mention some other cost evaluation details regarding the series modules. You can check them as well. All right. Next on this list is the fast chat T5 series that you can vary. That you can uh, uh, that you can say that very cost effective and efficient model that helps us to esteem the team chat through plan T5 module of it. It can also it also require almost billions of parameters to train effectively. It also requires some other requirements like the it try to pinpoint. It try to pinpoint some publicly available modules like fast chat GPT module that is Vicuna. Also, its link is pinpoint in the slide as well. It is available publicly like other open source models at hugging face platforms with a model card and playground as evaluation layers. Furthermore, if we talk about the sale 7 billion, we have we have to know that these models try to fine tune the lemma 7 billion on the real SEO output optimization data set. That means the model to sell, that means Whenever we try to generate some output through the model, it will help the model to search the relevant and most accurate data each time from the logs available in that particular data set about anything like regarding the logs, input and output requirements available in the history of search engine optimization data set. They also show better performance in some other factors than ChatGPT and others some other open source LLMs, but meanwhile, this whole achievement has made the model. It has uh, has made some limitations to the model that is based on the biasness and new data generation. Like it may uh, it may try to generate something offensive in some cases as well. That's because it's already to find new data and again try to clean that as well. So at last, what it gets, it will display that as final output that that is somehow inaccurate in some cases. Next is red, uh, red pajama inside. 
that works on the billions of tokens and parameters along with the instruction guidelines with some prompt engineering skills in it as well. But even after these whole mechanism, it lags behind in the slicing of larger data set due to the company's neg negligence that even at this level, this model is unable to replicate the semi lemma models when it is completely available and leak out at public platforms. Next is the GPT-4R. GPT-4R model continues the lineage of large language models like its predecessors. By defining its architecture and leveraging advanced training techniques, GPT-4R achieves even greater language understanding and generation capability. This enhanced effectiveness make, make it a powerful tool for various tasks from natural language processing to content creation, further advancing the utility of large language models in diverse applications. And now the open source champions. We have got by chatbot by our site stepping onto the stage. Bias is a multi turn dialogue maestro, but can stumble into hallucinations and stereotypes. Also, we knew that each large language models require pre training and fine tuning for training purpose. Some goes here like that, like same. Uh, thing will be considered here like it took almost 80 percent of the lemma training asset that are all from the old data block so that even if it it is trained at highly efficient and effective module of large language models history it will show some outdated answers of our question that somehow irrelevant to our department after that we have closer chat closer chat clones ai models and is style, but it lacks the logic behind the conversation, like the logic which, through which the large language models understand the questions and try to generate the best possible response out of it. It also lags in the completion of data in large outputs and inputs with poor multilingual results out of it. It also lags in the summarization ability of the conversation that highly impacts the overall world of large language models if it is submerged with any other large language models with those particular limitations in it. Next is the mini GPT-4 or. In the mini GPT-4 R model is a compact iteration with the series within the series of large language models. While smaller, it inherits the large language model understanding and generate capability generation capabilities of its larger counterparts. This effectiveness in a more manageable package make it make it suitable for resource constraint applications by enabling um, by enabling efficient large language model processing and could try to create text generation across a large range of tasks, even if it is a mini GPT-4 model, like a mini model. But wait, they, that's not enough. There is more. Open source large language models can be like that high maintenance plan. They need a lot of computational resources for training and their software limitations can be a bit of a bus kill. Also, business can be creepy, so be careful. On the bright side, these models are like supercharged engines, and with some careful optimization, they can drive really smooth. So that means, at the same time, when I, when they have some advantages there at their side, they also have some disadvantages at their side that are clearly mentioned in the slide. And there you have it. We have covered a ton from understanding the prerequisite to dive into the nitty gritty of LLM limitations by exploring commercially licensed and open source models, and even try to tackle the pros and cons of these large language models marvels. Remember, it's a journey of learning and adapting, and with the right skills, you have set you are set to navigate the world of open source large language models like a pro. That's all from my side regarding the comparison and software limitations of large language models among their variety of open source elements. So that's all from my side. Thank you.